Hey everyone, Vincent here from creativedegev.net. Today's video tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the source text of a text layer. Rather, we're going to be focusing on how to synchronize multiple text layers so that whatever we type for the control layer, it's going to be applied to the rest of the text. And this is a really handy technique for compositions or projects that have multiple instances or duplicates of the same text. For an example, I have a composition set up right here. And basically, we just have six text layers that are exactly the same, creativedegib.net. Now, let's say I wanted to change every single one of these texts to something common, like my name, for an example. I would have to individually go in here and type in my name for all six text layers. And as you can see, it's a very, very tedious task. And it's no fun, especially if you have, let's say, 50 or 100 text layers to do. And it's not that bad for six but you can get the point if we had more copies of the same text. Now, rather than doing this painstaking task, we can actually just parent the source text. Here's a demonstration. If I just double click on the control layer, I can simply just type in my name once. And as you can see, not only does it update, it also updates all the rest of the text. So everything synchronizes together with the control layer, which is our first text layer right here. Now to show you this, I'm gonna create a new composition right here. And we're just gonna name this demonstration and we're just going to hit alt control alt shift T or command option shift T to bring up the text and we can type in whatever we want so I'm gonna type in creative dojo dot net simple as that now we're gonna duplicate this text layer and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you can see here so how do we synchronize uh, our text layers to one control layer I'm going to duplicate it one more time and just bring another copy down just so we get the point across. We can bring down the toggle right here, go down to text, and you'll see the source text. Now we want to bring this up for all the text layers. So I'm going to close the transform, bring down the text, and you'll see source text. Now we want to hold down alt or option and click on the stopwatch. It's going to bring up the expression controls for the source text, and we're just going to parent the source text to our control layer. Now it doesn't really matter what layer this is as long as you have one control layer. So I'm just going to name this control so we know what we're doing here. So basically the second duplicate is parented to the first layer's source text. I'm going to do the same for text 3. So bring down the source text, hold alt or option, parent or pick whip, the source text to our controls source text. And watch what happens when I change the control layer. If I just double click on the control layer and I update it to whatever I want, say Vincent Win, you can see that not only does it update, but all the rest of the text also update. And of course you can just duplicate, uh, you can keep on duplicating all the layers and it's gonna update accordingly to what you want. So I'm just gonna bring this one down, make more copies, and we're gonna type in Creative Dojo. So it's a very, very handy feature. You can keep on duplicating, it's all gonna update. And this method is actually very, very handy for say 3D text where you have to duplicate a lot of text layers to achieve extrusion and depth. Very, very handy technique, especially for motion graphics because you're gonna have a lot of instances where you're gonna be using a lot of the same text over and over again. And this is just a very nice and easy organized way on organizing text in After Effects. Very, very overlooked in most cases, but very, very handy for templates and motion graphics in general. So thanks for watching guys, just a very, very quick tip. Don't forget to check out creativedojo.net for more tutorials. We have exclusive tutorials, blog posts, and everything like that. So check it out, creativedojo.net. I'm Vincent Wynn and you'll see you next time.